anytime something this amazing comes to an end, it's, it's hard. Uh, you know, I love this university. I love all the opportunities that uh, you know, Texas State football has given me. Freedom isn't free. I say it all the time. There's a lot of people who sacrificed themselves, loved ones, family, to put us in the situation to live the life that we live right now. You just got here. One play at a time, one situation at a time. Love, trust, and believe. Say true to the process, everything will be good. When we do things right, we're always going to do things right. We're always going to be here. You go dominate the game. Put your will upon it. Thanksgiving always rolls around late in the football season. It's a long-standing tradition. And for these Aggies, the game and this holiday keep their hearts and plates full. I like Thanksgiving. Uh, I feel like it, it gives people a chance, the opportunity to, to feel what they're, they're thankful for and be around family, have love in the air, and uh, Football, you know, football is always on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is always number one for me. When I was little, it was Christmas, but as I got older and I realized, oh, love, you get free, free food, and you don't got to worry about getting nobody gifts. So, Thanksgiving is the number one holiday for me. Yeah, it's, def it's definitely high on my list. You know, just to be around all the family, give thanks, and of course, like the food. The food is always the best, like one of the best parts. You know, I have to have macaroni. We go ham, we go mac and cheese. Uh, I gotta have some pecan pie with some ice cream afterwards when I'm done. I have to have dressing. You know, I have to have it with cranberry sauce without the berries in it. I gotta have dressing. That's the one thing I make sure I told my mom, can you just bring me dressing? I don't need nothing else. I'm gonna say I gotta have my mom's mac and cheese and sweet potatoes for sure. Yeah. And then pecan pie. Mac and cheese, yams, greens, and, and baked beans. Them, them four, got they gotta touch. I'm not picky, they all gotta touch, they all gotta be on the spoon when I'm eating it. That's, that's perfect right there. I feel like with Thanksgiving, football just has to be right there. It's the time everyone will come together, eat, enjoy, and also watch football. You definitely need football, I mean, I grew up always, the game always on in, in the Jones household. Every single time we downstairs about to eat, we watching football, so that's definitely a part of the Thanksgiving tradition. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Even I think families that don't even watch football know it's like, like this is a football holiday. You know, like I think people who don't even care about football, like the game's gonna be on. You know, or you know, for my family, we you know, we always play a Thanksgiving uh, family game. You know, there's nothing like it. There's one more game to play, and prep is underway. So the holiday doesn't really allow for vacation or travel home. But fortunately, this team always serves as family. From the past years that I've had, you know, Wednesday is kind of an earlier set practice, and then we go have dinner with uh, our coaches, like at their house with their families, um, which is really cool to kind of be able to, you know, spend some time with them. Just the fact that we all get to be around as a family, eat Thanksgiving, like, with each other, and give thanks to each other, you know, because we're always around each other every day, so it's definitely, like, family feeling. I know throughout my four years, you know, I developed some real tight relationships with some of the guys. And every Thanksgiving, you know, we have, well, like, in, in our past years, um, we have, like, our brother Thanksgiving, like our brother giving and whatnot. So, you know, come back after practice, relax, got some food waiting for us and whatnot. That's, all of it is pretty fun and, you know, joyful. So Thanksgiving is always, you know what I'm saying, a good, a good season to come around. So it's nice having that home away from home and you honestly just get used to it. You know, you're like, man, like these guys are my family and like, you know, I'll have these guys for the rest of my life. And so it's a little different, but you know, you're with people, you know, who love you and you're with all the time. Even though that we're not at home, we can be thankful for each other and have the opportunity to just play the game that we love on a Thanksgiving weekend is, you know, everything. 
Layton, just how much would it mean not only for you guys as a team, but to do it for the fans if if you were able to come off with a signature win to end the season? Oh yeah, that that would be great, you know, because especially um they were lined up out there today and um I believe they've been waiting since Thursday, I believe. So that would be very good, you know, just to give the home crowd a final win and um and that's and that's what we're trying to do. Um we're approaching it like we're approaching the other game. We just want to go in here and get the win. This is our last time this season to step out in the cow field in front of everyone national television and put on another performance for them. So why not have as much juice as you can? You know, we approach this game just how we approach any other game. Our mindset won't change. And we're going to battle our hearts out like we like we always done. We're going to fight to the nail, fight to that clock hit zero, 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 um, and that's what we're going to do. Um, so I feel like um, we're playing a great team. As well. We're playing a great LSU team, but they're going to get the best of us as well. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented by 44 Farms, the official beef of Texas A&M Athletics, and ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M Athletics. Howdy, Ags. Saturday night, Kyle Field. Normally, I'd say enough said. But now LSU's in town. It's the final Saturday of this season for the Aggies. The Aggies and the LSU Tigers is something special in the air. We shall find out. Hey, this is the last go, bro. Yeah. Hey, it's the singer's last go, bro. Hey, for the younger guys that don't know how they feel, hey, one day it's going to be you. You feel me? Hey, give me your all. You've got to think right now we're playing our best ball. Right now, we're at our best. We're at our strongest. And we need to go show that. All right? I told you this pregame. Don't be surprised. Right? At whatever moment that comes tonight, do not be surprised. Right? The moment will happen, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see it, you'll feel it. Right? In that moment, you embrace it. That's all you do. You embrace it, and you take the next step, because we got a next mentality. Attack each and every snap, and play the next play. See what happens. Let's you get it. Let's go. Here we go. Next on three. One, two, three. Let's go. One last time. Last time you're gonna be together, man. Last time you're gonna be together. Ain't time to be sad, it's time to have fun. Make this make this a memory, man. Make this a memory of a lifetime right here. What you can do and what you overcome. We're proud to coach you guys this year from this fact. This team never we never got the results we wanted. But we played our asses off, we played hard, you practice hard, you've done everything we've asked to do and continue to do. Now, that's to do that and that's to execute the whole time for a whole game. You gotta bring the energy, you gotta bring the juice, you gotta bring the physicality up front, but also the techniques. In the secondary, linebacker up front, defense line, the whole line, quarterback. DB everywhere. We gotta play our game. Special team, defense, and offense. And you gotta have juice, you gotta have energy, and you gotta wanna go play. You gotta wanna make a damn difference. Cap, it ain't gonna just jump in your lap. Make a difference. How you do that, do your job every play. Be a hero, that's what heroes do. Maximize it, and don't get bored doing it. Lock in and play. From the first play to the last play. Let's make one last run right here, together. The scrimmage is Mount McKinley with that tackle. It's a gain of one, but it wasn't much at all. It's a run to Emery. Emery, open field tackle, upended by Damani Richardson just across midfield. Daniels looks left, throws too high, incomplete. And the Ags will get the ball. They'll get a stop on their first series. Lines up to the right of Trey Zoom. Give to the second back, A-Chain. First down and more. A-Chain to the 28-yard line. From the slot to the left slot, right to left. Make the handoff to A-Chain. Little sling out to Donovan Green. Tight end screen, 30-35. And pushed out of bounds late. No flag. Muhammad in motion, right to left. First and 10. Give to A-Chain. Cuts back to his left at the 40. At the 45, he's near midfield. And tackled It's a first down gain for Devon A-Chain. A chain to the left of Wigman. Connor over the middle. Oh, caught. Complete right around the 42 and a half yard line. The only place Evan Stewart could catch that. On a first and 10. Second back A chain behind Crown over. Comes inside. Stays on his feet by the Aggie sideline. Inside the 20 yard line. This number six is pretty good. Fake to A chain. Roll to the right. Wigman hits Stewart at the 12. Dances. To the 10 yard line is Evan Stewart in the pistol formation with A chain behind Wigman. 
On a second and three from the LSU 10. A-chain bounces outside, cuts back inside. He's at the five, six for six. From 10 yards out, touchdown, Aggies. Oh, I love the jump cut. I mean, the guy came up empty, thought he had him dead to rights. He jumped out of his way, poof, he's gone. Into the end zone, touchdown, six for six. The Ags are up in the finale. It's one last time at Cal Field for 2022, and the 12th man is feeling it, ready to make their last stand. LSU answers, they return the favor with a touchdown of their own at 7-7 early in the second quarter. But the Aggies respond. Wigman fakes the A-chain, rolls to the right, thrown. Wow. Moose Muhammad, a one-handed grab. He tucked that in, it was going wide. He just put that left arm out and hooked it home. Fake to A-chain, over the middle to Moose. He goes behind, makes the grab, and carries it ahead to the 35-yard line. Pistol formation, A-chain is behind Wigman. Give to Devon, cuts back through his left, back to the right, and five yards, maybe six yards later, he's at the LSU 30. The handoff to A-chain, cuts back to his left. He's at the 25, and Russell ahead to the 23-yard line. He was going to go right up the middle and then bounced it to the left. Found nothing on that uh, on that middle, uh, just to the right of center. Cut it back, he's so quick. And he'll go down to the 22, first and 10, Aggies. On a third and seven from the LSU 19, Wigman escapes. Wigman stumbles, keeps his balance. 15, 10-yard line inside the 10. A first down scramble for Connor Wigman. Third and goal from the seven. Here they come. Throw to the back of the end zone. Incomplete. That was a bugging. No flag. Wow. Intended for Donovan Green. Here comes Randy Bond. Good snap. Constantinus hold. And the 25-yard field goal gives the Aggies a 10-7 lead. Kyron Lacey loses the grip on a would-be first down, and the Tigers are possibly letting a playoff berth slip away. They settle for a field goal, and the Aggies are right in this thing, getting more and more comfortable in the home finale. A chain to the left of Wigman. Runs around the right side. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45 to the 42-yard line. Devon A chain around the right side. From the 45-yard line of LSU on a third and 12. Shotgun snap to Wigman. In the pocket, rolls to his right, tucks and runs. Wigman 35. Wigman slides just across the first down. He needed 12. He got 12.1. From the 33 of LSU, ball in the middle of the field. Now two receivers left as Muhammad goes in motion. Wigman fakes, slant, caught Stewart at the 21-yard line. From the LSU 21-yard line, marching to the south end zone. The give to Devon, bounces outside. Devon at the 15-yard line, still on his feet. Cuts back inside, inside the numbers and the sideline, and he got inside the five. Wow. He is a magician. He broke about three tackles. Fake to A-chain. Wigman, pressure from his right. He's got to throw it. Does. Touchdown, Aggies. Tight end, Donovan Green with the touchdown reception. Number two for him. And LSU may have hit Connor Wigman late. Yeah, he snuck out into that right flat. And somehow Connor found him and got him the football. Aggies 17, LSU 10. We've played one half here at Kyle Field, and the Aggies do get the second half kickoff. We've been here before. Now we got to finish. We've been here before two or three times a half now. We have to finish the game. We've got the ball coming out this half. We need to set the tone, keep running, mixing the passes, making the right decisions and the, and the team decisions, and then all those players are just going to keep moving the ball. Everything you got, okay? No time to be loafing or laughing. Stay sharp mentally and physically. Under it. You're not manning anything, anything like that. It's going true zone, inside, outside. Make sure we're good on that. There was one opportunity, the ball's on the ground, we didn't get it. That, we got to get to the ball fast. You guys got me? Crank up effort one more notch and get any ball that's on the end ground. We got to finish the second half. Don't hope it happens. Offense, you got the ball. You said the ball three times, you scored three times. Take it down again, control, get a two score lead, 14, and keep going. Defense, keep playing your ass off. Keep playing your ass off. They don't score, we win, and keep playing. Right here. Play one play at a time. Don't get greedy on things. Don't be selfish. Beat this one. Let's finish. Send these singers out the right way. Let everybody know what this program can be and it's going to be. Let's go play our asses off and have a little fun. But let's finish this half. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First drive to the left. Don't worry about the scoreboard. Play the next play. 
play the next play. Good thing to happen to you, okay? Let's go, right here. Come on, finish on three. Hold on. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. The Aggies don't get what they need coming out of half. They're stagnant to start the third, and LSU scores to tie it. They need a play, the kind that sends shockwaves through Kyle Field. Third and a long one. Shotgun formation, Kane to the left of Daniels. Excuse me, it's Emery. Daniels keeps it for and it's picked up by the Aggies. Run into the end zone, Devontae Richardson, touchdown, a and The scoop and the score by Damani. Somebody had to make a play and somebody did and it looked like Edger and Cooper got to him and busted it loose. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is presented by 44 Farms the official beef of Texas A&M Athletics, and ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M Athletics. Late in the third, the Aggies hold a 24-17 lead with LSU's postseason hopes hanging in the balance. A long field is in front of A&M as they look to widen the gap. Devon A-Chain around the outside, 20, 25, a nine yard gain. Hand off Daniels around the left side, a little burst of speed at the 35, puts his head down, first down gain to the 38 yard line. Wigman across the middle, complete to Stewart. It's a give to Daniels, right up the middle, big hole. 40, 35, 30, 25 to the 23 yard line. That's a 23 yard gain for Amari Daniels. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Hey, man. 17, 25, we up. Fourth quarter. Make the handoff in the pocket to the back of the end zone. Moves, caught in one hand. Wow. Unbelievable pitch. <laughs> Touchdown, wow. Aggies. He had Sage Ryan on him, and he caught it with one hand, the left hand, in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. <laughs> scrimmage and taken down. It was all cleaned up by Isaiah Rakes. Second and nine and motion goes to the tight end. Mason Taylor right to left. Pressure coming from Turner. Avoided by Daniels. Under he ducks under one and he's sacked. Taken down. What does Dave say? Let's all meet at the quarterback. They do in the 20 yard line. 12 and a half to play in this fourth quarter. Here comes LSU. Wigman throwing deep for Moose. Oh my God. He caught it at the 40 Wow! It's a 50-50 ball, won by Moose to the 34-yard line. Listen to Moose. Moose! These fans are so into it. Unbelievable! It was with the left hand again, Dave! That's amazing! At the LSU 34. Now Donovan heads to the right side. Give to Devon, slips, slips outside, has the first down and more, still on his feet at the 15, to the 11 yard line, Devon A chain, 16 yard game. Second and goal from the 10. 
Shotgun snap from Wyckoff. Give to A.J. and up the middle. Slithers through. To the left side, the five, the four, the three, the two, the one. Six for six. They can't stop him. Touchdown, Aggies. The Aggies are in complete control now. A late LSU score is to no avail because the defense gets one last stop. The Bayou Bengals playoff drive bogs down at Kyle Field. Ball game, Aggies. 38-23, they take down number six LSU, and Kyle Field is still magical. Now go, fans. Change the narrative, the Aggies did. Look at, look at Kyle Field, look at Kyle Field. The 12th man has come out of the stands. We didn't need seven OTs to do this. Heck no. Just 60 minutes. What a way to end 2022 by knocking off number six, LSU, 38-23. Come on. Seniors, seniors. Are our seniors here? I want to send you out the right way, man. Congratulations. Give a hand to our seniors, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, it was a total team effort in all phases. You practiced well. Special teams were great on the night. Defense was great on the night. You scored offense. You controlled the ball, ran the ball, scored the first three drives of the game, scored at the end, took the air out of the ball, and <clears throat> did a lot of great things. I mean, we played. We finally played complimentary football to each other. We got stops when the offense was hot. When the defense got stops, we were getting points on offense. And you played complimentary football, man. I'm proud of you. And it's a great win. Now, for the seniors, that's a great win for what you're going out. And you young guys, what we can be, man. That was the number five team in the country. And you're lined up. If we will stick together and do what we do, pay attention, do the little details, and make our adjustments, we can be at the top of this thing in, in no time. But, we're as close as we want to be, we're as far as we want to be. That just all depends on our attitude and the way we want to do things. There's a hell of a football team in here. I said that all year. There's going to be a hell of a football team here next year for what we do. But for you young guys, we've got to push on and go forward. You old guys, thank you so much for everything you did, what you meant for us, help us building this thing and laying a foundation. But I'm just so proud of you guys. Let's go. Let's go. One time. Hey, hey. hey Mark. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. We didn't take up. We take it over. Y'all see what's going on.